Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track Keep my head up, staying strong, always moving on Feel I don't belong, tell my thoughts to move along Push myself to be the best, die with no regrets Live with every breath, see my message start to spread And I had so many dreams, then you hit your teens Life ain't really what it seems, try to find out what it means Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow Till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's I just wanna keep moving Yeah, I put out all this art It's my only medicine, yeah Everything I do I'm just being genuine, yeah I'm sick of being screwed Feel my own adrenaline, yeah I do just what I do And I hope you let me in Let me in, yeah <laughs> We are on the road headed south towards the old Columbus direction here in Ohio. We've got the lovely wife and her lovely 5'9 Cummins here. We're cruising. We got the Ninos. They're passed out. So we actually have a nice quiet drive at the moment. And uh, just tell them what you get. Just tell them. A boat. <laughs> a big, a big boat. Yeah, the like yacht. a yacht, basically. No, we're going to go pick up a, a pretty big horse trailer. So it's, right. a, it's old. It needs some TLC, but I'm excited because it's the first horse trailer I've ever owned. And I've rode horses basically my whole life. So I'm right. excited. Right. So this thing is huge. It's pretty much like a massive pull behind camper, essentially. I mean, that that's what it's like. You guys will see more here soon enough. We're gonna get it. And uh, for me, for her, it's gonna be a little bit more of a horse trailer video. For me, it's gonna be a little bit more of a, uh, did I install the gooseneck properly video. That's gonna be what I'm looking forward to. I'm gonna be testing my gooseneck installation skills here and letting you guys know how it handles, how the truck does, and kind of, well, you know. We're testing a lot here. We're testing the truck, the trailer brakes, and your gooseneck pitch. So, and and mean, my wiring. Three things that we're trusting in right, right now. Right, and I just so. installed a whole new wiring harness on the truck, oh, too. So four right, well, I just installed a new wiring harness adapter that goes from the rear wiring connection up into the bed of the truck as well, and I drilled a hole in the side of the bed and installed the wiring, so um, it's pretty... It's pretty good to go, as far as I understand and know, but we'll find out. Goodness, what have you done? What do you have me involved with here? This is more than I signed up for. No, I think we need to see this thing off to the marketplace. Goodness, this thing is huge. Go big or go home, baby. Hey. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Looks like old white. Old four-door short bed, 7.3. But, man, that, that thing is freaking clean. Super clean. truck driver honestly I ain't even gonna lie to you right now I'm pretty excited about this got me a 42 foot trailer We're all you I'm keep you. changing the number of how long this is <laughs> it started at like 25 and then it was like 30 and now it's 40 and 42 oh 42 okay no but in all seriousness we are hauling a 25 foot horse trailer with the living quarters a storage room, tack room, onboard shower, toilet, closet. It's supposed to have a freaking stove, mini fridge, overhood vent, heat, AC. It's, it's pretty cool. 
pretty freaking huge. It's, it's mm -hmm. big. I don't know how much this thing weighs. Three empty. horse slant. Yeah, I don't know how heavy this thing is empty, but I will tell you this. When we put this thing on the truck with no load, this thing was like, mm -hmm. I mean, it just went down. Now, it's sitting probably a little bit less than like level because the front end has a level yeah. kit on it as it is, but in terms of the truck pulling it, if you want to show them the dash there, I mean, we're at basically 68 miles per hour, almost 70, 1800 RPM. I have it in tow haul mode, but it still seems to handle the RPMs pretty low. So I'm not sure if the tow haul is just like not working, but it definitely shifted into overdrive and everything. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure how these third gens are compared to second gens. I know in second gens, when you click tow haul, it means like overdrive is off. And so you're pretty much not really going over 60, 65 without it like screaming RPM. This thing is maintaining a pretty low RPM. Maybe it's just got a lighter rear end under it. It's definitely not like a super heavy duty rear end, but it seems to be pulling just fine. She gets down, man. Thing shifts good, drives good, maintaining good temps. Out here in beautiful Ohio, there are really pretty views everywhere you look. And I ain't just talking about you, honey. <laughs> I'm funny. Pulling good. Big truck? Big truck? Did mommy get a did mommy get a semi? Did mommy get a train? Mama got a train, huh? Right. Yeah, it's a train. So far, this thing seems to be pulling great. How far are we from the house, by the way? Uh, that's a good question. 27 miles. How many minutes? 31 minutes. 31 minutes from the house. She always tells me miles. I don't want to know miles. I want to know minutes. Okay. But uh, 30 minutes from the house. And there's a bunch of deer out there. Look at all them deer. Look at all them deers. But yeah, so 30 minutes from the house. So far, so good. I was telling her, this thing, I was just driving Rosine today, and I'm telling you, with all the kids, with this trailer, and this long of a drive, this thing is just, it's just so nice. They're just totally different built trucks, but this thing is just perfect. Built, transmission for towing, heavy duty internals, only a leveling kit. We might go with the Bubba truck look. I was telling her that some guy made a comment, like we should do just aggressive tires on the stocks, ranch hand bumpers and just make it like an absolute bubba truck farm truck what do you think super fun oh yeah oh yeah it'll be it'll be cool so it'll be really cool really practical but also just a couple little extras just to make it cool and she was thinking hey that front ranch hand bumper would be perfect for just tying horses off too her idea not mine it actually could it actually could work as a dual purpose, you know, like it really could be used or for that. If you need them to pull you out, you, know, you already got to hook them up. Right, yeah, you <laughs> could just hook them on up to your ranch and just pull your trailer right out. But yeah, so we got some ideas brewing. Hope, hopefully, you guys have been liking the videos with this thing recently. I've been trying to get some of the necessities done. I did not film the wiring harness install for the adapter that goes from the rear tow package up into the bed and. I told you I did that in the video, but I didn't film it. Just kind of in a rush to get it done so we could go down and grab this thing. We had no idea if the trailer brakes were gonna work, not even gonna lie, until we got down there and hooked it up. And then we we're like pulling out in our driveway, like really slow. And I just like touched the brake controller and it slid the tires and the gravel. And I'm like, perfect. So it works. And then the brake controller is really cool. So you can set it up how you want, but the way that this one operates, I don't know if this is standard for all of them, it might be, and if so, I don't mean to sound stupid, but I apply, when you apply the brake pressure, it like will tell you how much pressure and force it's applying to the brakes. As you apply more pressure to the pedal, it'll increase the brake pressure for the trailer brake. So it's, it's kind of cool, but uh, works great. Haven't had any issues yet being able to stop or slow down. All the lights work. Everything's good on the trailer in terms of wiring. So let's get this thing to the house and give you guys a little review on the tow package that we installed in the previous video check this sucker out mm, mm, beautiful 
Look at those clean new headlights. Oh man, beautiful. You got the chrome headlights with clear lenses, chrome bumper. The wheels get, got a little brake dust on them. You got the chrome Cummins badge. Thing looks sick, 5% tint with the 5% brow. We're gonna be swapping on some new mirrors, new cab lights soon. Awesome. But here's the wife's new toy. And this is why we needed this gooseneck hitch install. And this thing is a monster. I don't think it's 30 feet. It could be, I don't know. It's for sure 25. Definitely at least 25. Oh, you're filming. Yeah, well, see, you were filming. One person films the other films, you know? It is, it's actually more cool because now they're gonna wanna go see your YouTube video right. about your big rolling yeah, turd. Cousin Eddie. <laughs> Cousin Eddie. The door rattled loose, so look. Oh, yeah. Maybe, it did it? It did. Yeah, it did. It did. That's why the Just safety pins the are there. The little pins saved it. Those little pins are more valuable than you think. Look at that. I don't know if you can see my ball there with my extender. The actual receiver is right there, but I put a four inch Kurt extender in there to get it away from the cab just a little bit more for backing around. As you can see, somebody else has made a sharp turn and ding the cab. But that little four inch extender, I'm telling you, that thing makes a big difference. Because we uh, did quite a few turns around town and stuff that were fairly sharp, especially pulling out of that lady's driveway. It was like an S-shaped drive with a real, more like a Z actually, with really sharp turns. And it got close to, the, it didn't hit the cab, but it got really close. Um, and those are probably the sharpest turns that we had to do the whole trip. But uh, not too bad. I do have another modification i'm going to be doing to her trailer here soon though which is going to be installing one of those extend -a goose adapters i'm going to have to make some modifications to the hitch itself but that'll give her an additional 10 inches of clearance away from the cab of the truck which under normal driving circumstances like what we just did it's probably not that big of a deal but when you go back in this thing into a tight spot um it's a big trailer so you know having that extra 10 inches of clearance would probably be pretty nice. So that's kind of the direction we're wanting to go with the trailer in terms of the predicament there with the short bed truck with a square nose trailer. Just kind of a thing that we didn't really think about honestly when we got the truck, because she wasn't looking for these specifically with that front end on it. But when she got the deal that she did on the trailer, the lady that was selling it was kind of like, you could tell she was in a pinch where she like had to sell it immediately because Reagan asked her a couple thousand dollars below her asking and she's like, would you take it? And she's like, yeah, I need it gone today. So she got a pretty stinking good deal on it and she saw in the title what she paid for it two years ago compared to what Reagan paid for it. She's like, oh my goodness. She's like, I got thousands off of what she even paid for it a couple years ago, which is just wild. And the brakes work, lights work, everything works. Um, if you want to go see like a full tour video of this thing, that's going to be on the wife's channel, which link is always in the description below. There's a couple of words. It's like the wife's YouTube. Click that and you'll see her video over there very soon. But in terms of my gooseneck hitch, let's take a little bit further looking at that work that I did there and see how we did after a toe test. That looks good. Nothing's moved. Getting underneath here. It does not appear anything has shifted. Thing looks good, bolts look tight. It looks good, I'm telling you. I mean, I torqued those things on like crazy. I wouldn't think they'd come loose after I torqued them on like I did, but you never know. I'll show you under this side here. You got your pull pin. Pretty sick. You can see the pull pin in there, right there, moving. Pretty, pretty solid. I think we're good. I wanted to check on my gooseneck install work. I think we're good. I don't think anything came loose, anything, nothing looks bent or crooked or anything. I mean, it looks pretty solid. See, we're like halfway there and she's like, 
I'm like, I'm kind of nervous about this whole gooseneck install. I said, that's the first one I've done. She said, that's the first one you've done. <laughs> she said, I thought you said you've done this before. I said, no, I said, I've done things similar before and I know how to do things well, just by reading directions. Again. Measure anything, you just drilled a hole. Yeah, I, I was messing with her about. She's like, Is the ball is the ball in the middle of the bed? I'm like, I don't know. I kind of eyeballed it. I think it's center. And she was like, I'm just gonna go cut a hole in your truck bed. <laughs> I'm like, Yes, it's centered. I uh, because you really can't mess it up. I mean, you could, I guess, if you're really trying, but by the time you do the brackets and you put the plate where it needs to be and you cinch all that stuff down before you drill a hole in the bed. You can only drill the hole exactly where it goes because the way these brackets are installed and bolted to the bump stap holes underneath in the frame and stuff like that, when you tighten everything down before you drill your hole in the bed, you can't you can't put the hole anywhere else. You can only drill it up to the bottom um, to make your pilot hole. You can only do it in the center of the receiver hole that your ball goes in. So it's pretty hard to pretty hard to mess up, honestly. And in terms of that kit. I would definitely recommend it. In my previous video, I left the affiliate links down there so you guys can buy that kit if you've got, I believe, an 03 to 12 Dodge Ram 25 or 3500. I believe it's 03 to 2012 models, I believe. Um, it, it is good for, I mean, it was like a $600 kit, I think, total. Maybe 700 with the extension of wiring harness and all that jazz, which I didn't show you guys. I'll show you that wiring harness kit that we did here. You can see that right there, which is pretty nice. That way she can just plug her stuff into the bed there. And that wiring harness adapter kit is pretty slick. You unplug that one factory one, and then there's a dual connector. So you can connect one end into the factory one, and then another one into your new harness. Actually, those two down low, one goes into the factory plug, which is this one. And then the other end that's split off goes into the factory harness that's supposed to be plugged into this one. And it makes it so that this one still works. And then also this one works. So it's sweet. I think it was like a $30 part, maybe. Um, totally, totally worth doing. Just, then you can keep your wiring inside the bed. You ain't got to worry about it slapping your tailgate going down the road. Well, everybody, that was going to be it for my segment of the video. Like I said, mine was mostly the towing test and the review of my gooseneck hitch install. I told them if they want to see your video, I don't know exactly when it's going to be on the channel. I'm guessing within a couple days. Um, go check that out. And uh, if you want to get entered to win the Rosine 24 valve, that giveaway is ending in literally two weeks. So it ends on April 16th. If you want to get entered to win my wife's old truck, it is now or never. It's coming to a close very soon. Hit the link in the description below or just go to lmpgear.com, buy anything on the site, and you're automatically entered to win that truck plus $5,000 in cash. <laughs> Don't shed any tears. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.